we are. So now we're outside by the condenser location. And as you guys can see, we took the condensing unit and placed it outside next to the HVAC condensing unit. This is where we had to come out with our line set. Uh, so we had to come out on the side of the home. This is your refrigeration lines, what I refer to as line set. This is just a cover to hide the refrigeration line set. So it gives you more of a better aesthetics, you know, rather than seeing a black pipe come down your wall. There's two pipes, one's copper and one's black and insulated. So what's the difference? They're actually both copper lines. Your liquid line, um, which is the hot line, is not going to require uh, insulation. Your suction line is going to require insulation because it's so cold that it can sweat in your walls. And to prevent any moisture buildup or, or uh, loss of, of cool, the suction line is always insulated. Which way round is it? One's incoming and one's outgoing. Which Correct. is which? So, so outgoing is always your liquid line, which is the non-insulated line. So when you say outgoing, that's the one that's going into the wine cellar? So it's going out of the condensing unit into the wine cellar? Into the evaporator coil. Into, into the evaporator coil. And, and then the other one is the one that's coming. Would be the suction line, which is the insulated line. Right. Coming back to the compressor and the condensing unit. If the black one is the one that's coming from the wine cellar, wouldn't that be warmed because it's absorbed the warmth from the wine cellar? Or am I not thinking about it right? No, because what you want to do is when you feed liquid into the evaporator coil, you want it to boil off. Right. Kind of like water does naturally. Uh, All right, so it's going in warm. It does go in warm. It's being sprayed into the evaporator coil, there's a device, the, ex the expansion valve, sprays in the liquid refrigerant so that it's able to now boil off almost instantly with the difference of the air temperature moving across the evaporator coil. So in that instance, the refrigerant goes from a liquid to a vapor stage. So vapor comes back on that insulated line. And it, it, it's that process of going to a vapor that causes it to get cold. Correct. Which then absorbs the heat in the room. Correct. Once it turns to a vapor refrigerant, it's now cold. So that's not what cools your wine cellar. It's actually in that stage where it evaporates. So in other words, where it turns into a vapor that you're picking up the heat. Right. You're removing. The refrigerant is absorbing mm -hmm. the heat that's being picked up while the air is moving across the evaporator coil. So then when it comes out the black line, it's then cold? Correct. Now, after it's been through the evaporator coil, comes back out, now it's cold because it's, it's lost its heat. It's picked up now, it's gone to a different stage, which is now the vapor stage, which is where now the, the refrigerant is real cold. So because it's cold, we have to insulate the line so that mainly so that we don't have any water, again, condensing on the line and then causing other problems. One of the problems being water in your walls. We don't want that. So um, that, that's the reason why the suction line is always insulated, always, in any system, e even with your air conditioning system. With this outside condensing unit, there's a fan on there that will come on similar to the condensing unit for the HVAC system right. behind you, yeah? You don't see it uh, right now because the components are in here. Basically, this unit is designed so that it picks up air on the front of the unit and it bowls out so we're pushing the air or the warm air out of here and there is a fan that helps us do that. It's a neat little box compared to a regular AC unit. The unit itself is physically in there which is why the lines come in there and there's just a box to protect the condensing unit from outside elements, rain, debris, what have you because unlike an air conditioning unit, refrigeration and condensing units are like in this case designed for interior spaces so if you're going to place it outdoors you want to be able to protect it and so we've added this cover because we knew it was going to be out here